Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome back to more Perizno. I'm Liz, and last time we won a tournament in Amarna. Ooh, who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? Uh, where else can we find the tournamentes for some good old money? Uh, Velanaz and Kalataka. Good to know. Thank you very much. As I have to adjust my headset here. So Velanaz and Kalataka. Velanaz, Velanaz, Velanaz and Kalataka. Because I, I know exactly where those are, guys. I know this is Vinica, Leuven, and Lesbier. I know that! Macon, Arendelle, Ford. I'm a little aware of that. I'm sort of aware of the Reich. Reichberg, Freising, Voldenberg, Merdenol. Grund and Grozny are on the island up here. I know that. Soot is the Giants. Uh, and I know Velanaz is apparently the other giants, the Bakal giants. So do I want to go fight some giants? No. Not so much right now. Um, hmm. I really want to find a sword is what I want to do. Uh, or like even a, a good mace or something like that would be fun too. So now that I got some money, we can head to like Reich territory again and look for that knight sword, or we can head to elf ter I didn't see any one-handeds in elf territory. They had some two slash one-handeds, which were cool. I think what we'll do is we will head up to uh, Tolrania and we'll look at their cities, and then we'll head through Macavia and um, the Reich. We'll make money along the way where we can. And uh, Do I want a sword that bad, or do I want to start investing? Maybe I want to start investing. If I want to invest, where do I want to invest? I want to invest in the place where I'm going to live. If I want to live in the Reich, let's say, as an example, then I guess we can invest in Myrdenhall? Is Myrdenhall likely to be taken over? Maybe. Maybe we should invest in Freising. I think I'm going to go invest in Frising, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to take our money and we're going to invest it in land in Frising. And we're going to see if we can actually make money off of rents. Uh, in, like, Floris and the other Floris-like mods, you can usually make pretty good money off of rent. In fact, it's a lot better than making money off of enterprises. I know that enterprises are worth a lot of money in Prisno, though. Like, tons of money. So I'm wondering if... Uh, if um, investing in land will be as worth it. But let's find out, shall we? So for the next little bit, I think what we're going to do is venture the lands. Demon worshippers! Yes, they are following us. They are 100% following us. Okay. Um, yeah, just go the other way. Yeah, we went that way. Go that way. That's the way you want to go. <laughs> I think what we're going to be doing for the next little while is making money and investing in land so that we can sort of compound the way we make money and uh, go from there. So Galway, what do you have out of curiosity? Masterwork Squire Bastard Sword. Yeah, you know what? We could we could do that and we can try and maybe get like a, a legendary weapon like a demon or not demon, um, Kingslayer perhaps. Uh, it's probably not that good for us, but whatever. We, we can do it, right? Let's stick that shield on our back. Why not? Why not? Um, so nothing that fantastic here. Nothing that's really standing out for me. Uh, okay. Oh, excuse me. Have we been to this castle? Is there anybody special in this castle? Oh yeah, okay. I think I've been to this castle, haven't I? Learned scholar, literary scholar. They don't talk to us. This scholar does, though, right? Yeah. Have you found a republic? Uh, I have to be somewhere else. So there is a guy here that we can talk to, probably about a quest as well, so we should make note of that. Uh, this is what, Galway or something like that? Galway. Okay, Galway. There is a dude in the castle at Galway that we can talk to. So that's good. Uh, do I want to just head up? Yeah, you know what? We're going to head to Frising. We're going to head to Frising. We're going to start investing money is what we're going to do. I want to keep like at least 10 grand on me so we can invest like 30 grand maybe and see what that does for us. A 
if you have money, you can make money. It's the same as in real life, I suppose. If you have a hundred, I'm talking about Canadian dollars, and I'm talking about uh, really, really low risk markets and all that kind of thing. But if you have like a hundred thousand dollars, you could probably make like a monthly income pretty solid nowadays of about seven hundred dollars off of like secure income, like. It, it it it's there it's definitely there if you have the money you can make the money so if you have like a million bucks that's like what 10 times that doesn't quite work out the same way i you, you need to understand that as well it doesn't just multiply by value but uh you can make some significant money hello frizing oh this is uh Bridget's territory too um, money lenders. Two thousand four hundred thirty-one people live in Frising. Twelve acres of land available for cultivation. Only twelve acres. That's not a lot of land. I'm not gonna lie. That is not a lot of land. So ten acres are thirty thousand. Seven hundred and seventy-two. Per acre, so that'd be like seven thousand bucks every week. I thought it was every two weeks. Okay, maybe that's changed. Maybe they made it every week. So I can buy all twelve. How much would all twelve cost? Um, a little more than thirty-six thousand. Okay, I'm going to buy all of the land available in Frising. That didn't do it. Right, I gotta click this. Okay, 37,000. So now I have what left? I have seven grand, which is enough for me to like do my tournament lifestyle off of. I'm not gonna be buying anything, but I, it's enough for me to do my tournament lifestyle off of, and we own everything in Frising. Now, if we look at our financial report, why do we have a balance here already? Oh, oh, okay, no, assets would be how much money we have. A balance is what we're going to make. That doesn't make sense. No. It shouldn't switch to assets. It should only become bal balance once we have money here already. And 2,496 is not the matched amount that we would have been getting. So... Why do we have that balance here? We would have gotten all of our money already just by going to the landlords and money lenders. So that must be the amount that's going to... Oh, it probably is the amount that's going to make this week. But because the week is already partially over, we're only going to get a partial amount of it. I'm not sure. Either way, we're going to let the money accumulate there. We own all of the land in Frising, so it's fine. Let's go make ourselves some more money. Um, let's talk to the arena, and we'll look for a tournament because we can make some renown as well. Amarna again, Velenez, Soot, Fountain Hall, and Karnoth. Those are all kind of far away from us. Yeah, those are all a little far away from us. Marna, Karnoth, Fountain Hall. I guess Soot is pretty close to us, right? Yeah. Do we want to go fight in a giant tournament, ladies and gents? All right. Let's go fight some giants, shall we? Or, you know, get captured along the way. Valahir Drinkers. I don't know what those are. <laughs> they sound a little, uh, sound a little dangerous, but, uh, you know... Never know. They could be terrible. Who is this? 26 snow crawlers. We're going to go fight My them. My men would like a word with you about your purse and your belongings. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So last time I fought you, I may or may not have had this helmet on, but I definitely did not have this shield. Definitely did not have this, uh, armor. And I still murdered you all. So... Your men and you, and whatever discussion you want to have with me, 
is gonna end with your head in my saddlebag. I'm actually not doing that much damage to my horse either. I was expecting they'd probably damage my horse a little bit more. On the other hand, we're not doing that much damage to them. Like, we're making numerous swings here that are doing damage, but not killing people. Which is not good. Yeah, we're not taking any damage. Receive zero damage, mount receive damage, but not us. Receive zero damage, receive zero damage. I like that. We are now invincible to snow crawlers, apparently. Maybe not totally invincible, but for the time being, we are pretty darn invincible. Our mount does take damage, though. I don't want to get our horse lamed, so we do want to be careful. If our horse looks like they're going to die, we're just going to dismount our horse. And we're going to come in and fight these guys uh, in foot melee combat. Had to jump a rock there. Yeah, our horse is getting a little beaten up. I'm thinking we're just going to dismount and fight these guys, guys. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just be a little bit more tactical about it. Instead of just riding right through the middle of everybody, maybe we'll, like, you know, do this the way that we're supposed to fight a battle. So that we don't take a million damage. But damn, it's fun. It's fun. I, I want to be able to ride a war horse or, like, a war dragon. Or, like, a, you know, war wolf or something with some armor and just run right through all these guys. Oh. It'd be, it'd be fun. It'd be sweet. Sweet, sweet. Hey. Oh. Too soon? Come on. I do uh, I do have to say, I sort of miss my super amazing epic two-hander from Pendor. Um, the, the ruby runed two-handed sword with its ridiculous like, 150 something or 160 something or whatever reach. That was, that was a pretty sweet sword. But, uh, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. 26 enemies killed. We won the battle. Our horse ended up surviving in the end, so good job. Horses on the bright side do uh, heal up to full immediately, so that's good. God, I'm amazed at how much some of this gear is worth. Like, this just garbage that they carry. And we leveled up. One point, see? 31 strength. Why? Where did I get the extra strength point from? It would have showed up in my log, I suppose. You do get random stat points here in Prisno. I am aware of that. Um, so it would have showed up in my log. But where did I get the extra point from? Okay, well. Three shields, three athletics. And we will work towards the next. 65, so we gained 15 weapon points as well. Um, I mean... Sure. Let's put him in pole arms. Why not? We seem to use a lance from time to time. Um, we were on our way to Soot territory, right? Yes, we were. And it looks like we have to go through the south here. Let's go. Ooh, who's this? Draken Kriegers. I don't know what a Draken Krieger is. It sounds like it's a little bit tougher. Uh, but it might just be terrible. You never know. There's only three of them, and there's only one of us, so three peasants would still attack us. So you can't really tell for sure. 27 snow crawlers would attack us, for example. All right, so we're in suit territory. It's dusk. I think we made it before. Yeah, we did. Okay, we're going to see what a giant tournament is. Yeah, yeah, you guys would be giants, all right. We got axes. It's probably going to be largely um, foot combat. And our team is going to die here. It's hard to see who we're fighting. We have to rely on... Sh I tried shield bashing him. Apparently it didn't work. There we go. We have to rely on the shields to tell who's on whose team. Regular fighter. Okay.
All right, so they're, they're kind of buff. Giants are kind of buff, I'm not going to lie. Go ahead, fight in the next round. Two teams again, so we'll just charge in with our team. Yeah, it's a big arena, but there's also obstacles in this arena, so it would be kind of out of the horse. There's another dude on foot here. Hey, we're... Okay, so we're not on the same team? Okay, I'm wearing red, and he's wearing red. And I have a red shield. So whose team is everybody on here? Okay, so we got knocked out. Did we advance, though? Yes, we advanced. Two teams with one fighter each. All right. It's a big arena. We're wearing blue. What color are they wearing? Because we were wearing red, and the other team was wearing red. We had a red shield. The other team had a red shield. <laughs> Weapon Master Arette. That's a regular dude. We were wearing blue and they were wearing red. When the Giants get involved though, like, even the regular dude on that other team was wearing a different, like, they had a different... Okay, we're wearing blue and we have a red shield. Our team has red shields. Like, what the hell is this? Okay, that's on our side. I, I can't tell who's on whose team. Like, it, I, I have no idea who is on whose team. Okay, so the guy in yellow is on my team, and I'm on, I'm green. Goodbye. Sindem the Blade Master. Very cool. So it seems to be mostly one-handed axes and shields here. Um... Two teams, one fighter each, two participants remaining. So this is the final round. So we're fighting against Sindem the Blade Master or whatever. Where is he? Over here. Which is fine because we can shield bash him. Like that. And get dirty hits in. Goodbye, Sindem the Blade Master. You had a shield too, bro. I'm just saying. So 19,900, no special prizes, 2,000 orums. Relations with suit has improved. Cool. Join the fee. <laughs> sure. Suit warrior. Grand Chief Azahar. What, what do the ladies here look like? King Bullius. You're a vassal of the soot giants. Okay. And you call yourself a king and you're the vassal of the soot giants. Fantastic. Um, all right. There's some giants in the tavern. Very nice. Ransom Broker. Stormcloak. Vixen Rider. You're a mercenary? Yeah. With that red brigandine. All right. Cool. What do they have in the marketplace? Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, of course. A giant cleaver would definitely be a one-handed weapon. Really, for sure, guys. Swing of 44, weapon reach of 120, speed of 90. Guys, guys, I think we're going to be rocking a giant cleaver until we can find better. But, like, look at this. Can we actually use it? Do you have to be a giant to use it? No, we can use it. It seems a little dirty. It has 90 speed, so let's let let's imagine that they use the same values that Pendor uses, which is 15%. So 112, 15% means we're going to be losing a little bit more than 15. We're going to be losing 15, 16 and a half plus a little bit more, so 16 and three quarters basically. So it would go down to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It would go down to 96 speed, about that, if we are using it on horseback as a one-handed weapon. They might have a 20% penalty or 25% penalty. So if they do, then it's even more. But that's what its speed rating will go down to, sort of mid-90s. 
this guy has 90, so it's going to be a little bit slower even as one-handed, but its weapon reach is 120, so it has 20 more reach. So speed at the expense of reach, I'm okay with that. And its damage is, it's one-handed, so it actually gets all 44. This thing loses some damage. Yeah, yeah, no, we're, we're going to rock this cleaver, guys. Until we can find a sword that is comparable to this cleaver, that doesn't look like an atrocious piece of crap, we are going to rock this cleaver. Let's do it. And yeah, I, I was expecting this. I was expect- oh, ugh. You've equipped an item restricted for this race. Okay, so we can't wear giant armor, because it is restricted to race. But apparently the cleaver is okay. I mean, the cleaver was only a couple grand, so I'm okay with trying it either way. Huh. Ah, they got some good horses. They're slow, but they're very well armored. I'm okay with trying it out. Yep, it stayed equipped. So we got ourselves a relatively cheap, pretty decent sword by the looks of it. And we're building up money. We're going to invest in other Reich territories, like Reichberg maybe next. So we'll, we'll get ourselves to like 50 grand or so, and then we will invest there. We can't go to the arena because it's evening. So I can't ask the arena master if there's any tournaments nearby. But I'd like to get into a fight with something that I should be able to kill. Sakhar Raiders. Sakhar Chieftain and Sakhar Raiders. Um, minor factions. I don't know where Sekhar Raiders would be. They'd be under Bandit somewhere? No. Player Mercenaries, Parisno Troops? No. Okay, so uh, let's go to Reference Material. View all troops for minor factions. I don't think they're going to be in Commoners. Nope. Outlaws. This is this is better. This is better. Volhir, Ilika Falki, robbers, brigands, Sakar raiders. Okay, so they're on horseback. They are skirmish cavalry on horseback, and they don't look like they belong here. All right. So we have done our research. We do not want to fight these Sakar raiders right now. No, nope. do not want to fight skirmish cavalry on horseback quite at this moment. Who is this? Valahir Hardened Dringers. 20 of them. They have some prisoners. Hardened Dringers tell me that they're probably uh, an upgraded troop. And I probably don't quite want to fight them right now. So, damn. Let's find something that I can potentially kill. Il not Ilika Falki. Yeah, not Ilika Falki. I I've heard enough about Ilika Falki to know not to fight them when I'm solo. Three Draken Kriegers and some Snow Crawlers. Well, I don't want to fight them together. Okay, a Draken Krieger is a foot soldier. They've given up their horses. Okay. It's a tier two foot soldier. I mean, I, I, I'd probably be looking for more like 15 to 20 of them, but we will fight this tier two foot soldier with our cleaver. Okay, so it's it's a little bit slower, but it's not, uh, it's certainly not ridiculously slow or anything. They've got big two-handers, but I've got a big one-hander. Okay, 131 damage. It is cutting damage, not piercing. So I do need to be aware of that. But we also have good reach now, so I can hit them from nice and far away. Yep, 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 yep. I, I, I'm a fan. I am totally a fan of this cleaver. If it, if it looked a little uh, less atrocious, I'd be a bigger fan. But I am totally a fan of this cleaver. I'm on board. Let's do it. Where do we want to head? Let's go to Murdenhall. I don't want to fight a tournament in Murdenhall, but let's go to the arena of Murdenhall and see where the uh, 
nearest tournaments are. Who is this? The Sinia Raiders from Clan Varangian. 288 Volheers. Vala Hears. Experience Volheers. Yeah, I don't want to mess with you. I don't think I could take 288 of you guys. Who's this? Wolf Knights. I still don't know if Wolf Knights engage us or not. Yes, they do! Okay, we gotta thread the needle here, these two Wolf Knights then. We've been relatively peaceful with the Wolf Knights at this point. I've seen them a ton of times, but I've never gotten so close to them that they chased after me, I don't think. Murder all. Uh, arena. Where are their tournaments, sir? Soot again. Fountain Hall and Carnoth. Uh, they're all down in the south again. Actually, Fountain Hall was a pretty good tournament. I liked finding that Fountain Hall one. Um, Carnoth. I don't know what tournaments in Carnoth are like. I don't know what dwarf tournaments would be like. Hmm. Intriguing. What other ways are there to make money except for tournaments and, like, killing people? Lots and lots and lots and lots. Well, the best way is to invest in stuff so that you can make money passively. And that's what we're sort of working on right now. We're sort of working on doing a couple more of these tournament style things so that we can get the money so that we can invest in a few cities so that every week we can make enough money to keep going. And then we don't have to do tournaments for money anymore. We can just collect and we can go and adventure instead and recruit companions and, you know, kill some people and all that kind of stuff. Kill the bigger, tougher groups. And maybe do some quests. Like, one quest I would really like to do is this one for the High Priestess or whatever. The Dragon Priestess. But I want to get some soldiers recruited first, or at least companions. Um, and for that, I need a bit of an income. What's my renown at, out of curiosity? 607. And 33 honor. Considering I'm not even trying, that's, uh, that's, that's going nicely for us. We could go a lot quicker if we were really, really trying. Like, if we were really pumping that, I'm sure we could uh, get that up quicker. It feels like there's more snow crawlers in Makavian territory, and there's tougher things like Illicofalki and all that kind of stuff in Draken territory. So, maybe we want to go there. Tolranian Bowman. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take you guys out. Oh, check that out. That is a perfect setting to spill blood. Let me pull my cleaver out. I'll hold the shield of Gondor up in your face. Oh, Bowman, though. We cut that guy in half. 79 damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like me a sword that can one-hit kill people. Like, one hit kill these guys. Like, tier 1, 2, or 3, like, archers and stuff, foot archers. I like me a sword that can one hit kill them as I charge through. Because I want to be able to charge through those guys and take them down so that I can get to the cavalry afterwards, right? Like, I want to be able to take out the foot bowmen and stuff like that immediately. And I love me a sword that can handle it. <clears throat> so good. So good. We're a little ways away off at agility, though. That's all right. Who are you? Who are you? Deserters. And outlawed criminal. A knight of doom! Vanquishers, marauders, brigands, and wandering criminals. Can we take that? Can we take this? Can we take it, guys? 31 deserters. 50 outlawed criminals with a knight of doom. Cliffhangers, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be next time. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you again then.